Yo what's up guys this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make these amazing looking yeah, glowing golden glitter particle effect whatever you want to call it but yeah this is really cool and super simple as well we don't need any plugins or whatsoever so yeah let's just go right into it so let's just go into a new composition and yeah let's duplicate the solid because one we will use as a background and the other for the particles so let's just press ctrl d and select the upper one and let's just go to the effects and presets tab and look for the effect particle world and let's just apply it and now as you can see if we just let it go it will look really stupid and not like yeah this at all so obviously we have to change uh, a few settings and first of all we want to change the particle type which is now these weird lines and we just want some nice rectangles so let's just go to the yeah to the rectangle setting here or rectangle tool and let's just make a new shape layer and just draw a normal rectangle just like this nothing fancy and this is already enough we can just go and yeah hide this layer and go back to our particle world setting and let's just go to particle and first of all change this to um textured quad polygon i think and now we can open up the texture and just select our shape layer and now we can see yeah we get these yeah small nice good looking particles let's just change the birth size to 0 0.5 so we will actually have them big bit bigger and yeah the depth size as well so now it will just look like this and let's also turn down the birth rate to 0 0.5 four i think i used because yeah this was just too much and let's also change the longevity to 10 seconds because we yeah don't want them to just disappear right after spawning and yeah we can also turn up the maximum opacity to 100 percent because we actually want to see these particles and yeah this is good but if we would just play this animation we can see this is way too fast and yeah doesn't look smooth at all so let's open up the physics tab and just yeah play with a few settings so let's just bring down the velocity to 0 0.5 and yeah the gravity we can just put it to zero because we want it to just like go in all directions and yeah we can just leave it like that i think yeah this is good maybe we also wanted to just vanish if they yeah go with the time so we can actually bring down the depth size to zero and now we can see that yeah it will just spawn and then yeah disappear with the time just yeah to stay with the example let's just bring this thing to the left corner uh, right corner so we can just yeah select our effect which will then yeah show us this this point in the middle and we can just move it somewhere in the corner and now we got these nice particles flowing in and yeah this will maybe take some time to pre-render because particles are always yeah kind of difficult for the computer but yeah this should look good from the particles yeah yeah the particle, anim particle animation is good but we just want to play a bit with the style because obviously um yeah these are red and we want some nice shiny golden particles so yeah let's just go to yeah let's just select the the, the particle layer and the shape layer and press right click to pre-compose both of these and make sure the setting is activated and just press ok and yeah now we can for example give it a layer style to give it the the golden effect and we can just go yeah right click in here layer styles and let's add a um, a gradient overlay just like this and yeah let's just i'll just paste my my settings into this and we can then just copy it so i just yeah paste it inside but you have to do it manually so just open up the gradient overlay and basically the only thing that you have to change is the yeah edit gradient setting under colors and in here you can see i already put in like three yeah orange or yellowish colors and you can just copy these so the first one is this hex code and i can put the the values in the 
description as well so you don't have to copy it by hand then just click in the middle in here to make a new point if that's not the case for you and you will get this one and just put in this value i will also put it in the description and finally just select the the yeah point to the right and put in this value and we have this nice golden gradient going on and to also give it some kind of 3d effect we can also add another layer style which is the Beveland emboss effect and we can just apply it and now if we zoom in we can actually see that they have some kind of shading and let's just deactivate it for example just like this and this and yeah this is just really subtle but i think this looks cool and of course you can always change some settings in here if you want to change the size or the technique maybe this looks good because these particles are so small we won't see a big difference so i think the default setting is already quite enough so now if we zoom out we have this yeah not too much let's just make it fit again we have this nice particle animation but as we can see in our example we also had some yeah nice shiny effects going on and some some glow so yeah let's just play with this one a bit so first of all we can just select this pre-composition and duplicate it by again pressing uh, ctrl d just like this and now let's yeah just add a cross blur effect uh, just like this and now we can just increase the x and y radius and you can already see we get this wonderful looking shiny effect just like this and yeah this is up to you how strong you want to to make this you can also play one with the transfer mode but i'll just leave it like that and yeah now you already got this nice looking yeah shiny effect and we can also just on top make an adjustment layer which then will impact your whole composition so maybe yeah if you don't want this just yeah, apply the effects that i will now show you on the particle layer but I think what always looks good is a nice glow effect. And yeah, we can just, yeah, this looks good. Increase the radius a bit maybe. So this will just glow a bit more. Just depending on how you want it to look like. And yeah, this is quite subtle again. Of course you can turn up the, the intensity. But yeah, this is completely up to you. Um, let's just leave it at 2. And I think this looks wonderful. So now, yeah, if we just play this, we have this nice animation going on. And let's just, yeah, of course, you can also add some brightness and contrast to regulate the, yeah, the, yeah, brightness and contrast. Obviously, this is completely up to you. Ah, uh, no, why is it so weird? Wait, why is the effect layer over here? This is weird. Maybe I accidentally changed the position of this one. Let's just bring it back to default. Yeah, this was super weird. Okay. Yeah, now now this looks good. Okay. And we can maybe increase the contrast. And yeah, here we go already. This looks super cool. We already have these, yeah, nice glowing golden dust particles. And yeah, that's already it basically. Of course, you're always free to play around with all of these settings like the glow and the particle numbers or longevity or whatever you wish to change but i think this is a good basic result and yeah thanks for watching and see you next